Hello everyone, I hope everybody is doing great. Anyone who's watching BNP TV today, this is your program again, one more time standpoint. And we'll be talking about a domain that is, uh, you know, coming on another pace. And uh, before I tell you the topic, let me maybe introduce a bit. You can easily decipher or figure out what we'll be talking about. Uh, Two million uh, euros, I mean money from Europe has been implemented in Burundi to help the culture. Uh, domain and uh, you know people are working in arts, uh, I mean handicraft, painting, different domains of art, cinema, uh, I, I, I guess you can understand what is culture and what is arts and uh, it's um, about uh, a project called PASAK Burundi, it's in an acronym and that money is used uh, in different, I mean in different sectors of culture like uh, people are you know they have Three main uh, uh, specific targets to help people to be creative, uh, to help people to get access to the markets and networking, and also to help people to manage the organization so as they grow in terms of that cultural domain. So, before I get back to the topic again, let me introduce uh, my guest. We have uh, one guest, and I with my co host Kelly. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm good. What about you? I uh, also fine, except uh, tiredness. I'm a bit tired, but it's okay. Everybody is tired in this yeah, country. I know everybody is tired. You're going. You you knew I, I was about to say this. I, I didn't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm here, I think, for sure. Yeah, sure. And we have a guest here, and uh, his name is Jean Dark. He's a leader of uh, an organization called uh, Avasa Mandari. Yeah, Avasa sure. Mandari is uh, maybe he's gonna tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's, a, it's a, an organization, you know, also operating in the domain of culture. They make theaters and some other maybe activities. He can, you know, yeah. introduce himself a bit. Okay, 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 great. Um, I'm Jandar Kenyungabu. I write and direct for both the stage and uh, the screen. And I've been leading uh, our Samandari since uh, 2018. And our Samandari is uh, a non profit theatre and film organization working mainly on uh, communication for development. Ah. Yeah, we actually use theatre and film, I mean, different genres of theatre and film to communicate for development, to communicate with people, to interact with people and communicate our thoughts. And uh, yeah, so as to get better, to move from a certain stage to another stage for sure. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, uh, that's so amazing because, you know, you're a good fit to our today's topic because it goes like this. Does uh, culture, Burundian culture and arts contribute to development? That's what we'll be talking about. Uh, Kelly, can you, can you have a word about the topic? I mean, like, uh, uh, would you try to tell us what do you think about it? Does really Burundian culture and the arts contribute to development of the country? I mean, of course. Mm. Art is, first of all, a beautiful thing. It's, you say that you play theaters, films. It's a very beautiful thing. It's express emotions, how people feel, how... Art is um, a kind of, you share your emotion through culture. I think culture is a beautiful thing and we have a very beautiful culture, diversified culture here in Burundi and I think it contributes in development. Firstly, for you, the, the, that artist, for the community, for the country, why not? And for even for the, the entire world, which come to, to discover our culture. Yeah, sure. Uh, Ashanda, the same question to you. <laughs> okay, great. Um, actually, culture and arts and related industries are also called uh, creative industries. Uh, these contribute enormously to the development of the country in several ways. And it actually provides the direct and indirect benefits to the, to the state, to the communities, and also to the creative industries themselves. You know, in uh, several ways how the, the culture and arts industries uh, create jobs. Uh, they also uh, help 
or just um, help the people to, you know, to improve their education and culture and arts also enhances uh, uh, social cohesion, peace building, and these kind of things. Yeah, several domains for sure. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, you much right. You know, culture involves, I mean, different domains, as you're saying. In your opinion, culture is life. Yeah. And involves, you know, different, you said it's not even a sector, maybe it involves different sectors like painting, like music, mm -hmm. like um, handicraft, yeah. uh, cinema, you know, uh, too many domains. And uh, people are, who are in those domains in the country, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they face mm -hmm. too much challenges. And they are saying, they are saying we are not, you know, uh, living out of that. Uh, so, what's the problem? Because you are you are in in the domain, and for you, it's life. You can you say something is life for you when you can't not even live, you know, uh, out of it. You cannot take advantage of it. Um, well, talking that culture and art is life, it's actually uh, this actually means that uh, every human being has the root. I mean, uh, is one cannot live without heart. Culture and art, in this way, act like a heart. <laughs> Even more than heart, let me say the root, the root of it, uh, I mean, the main root of the tree, you know, like a tree cannot live without the main root. Even culture and art is the same. And when we talk about money and, well, how many, um, how maybe culture and art uh, generates revenues. Uh, this actually, uh, we are going to the other side of, um, you know, marketing this way. And this is also something uh, which is uh, very good with culture and art because um, like other domains, uh, people who are working in this sector have to live on the arts, have to live on, uh, because of their profession. So here in Burundi, uh, we, I can say that we are still far um, to live properly on our arts, but um, we have been making, doing our best to just to make it. And as we are moving forward, we are just making it uh, little by little, and we also contribute to the development of Burundi. Okay. Well, I. Uh, thank you for the, the, the conclusion of your, 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 yeah. your, your, your intervention and uh, I hope it's linked with what Kelly said that uh -huh. people are in the domain or in the culture field, uh -huh. uh, they help themselves firstly and they help the, their communities and after they help the country, even uh -huh. maybe the whole world. So Kelly, I want you to exemplify, uh -huh. would you please give us, you know, put that into practice how those people, those actors of the sector are really helping uh, in the development of uh, the country. In Niger, they developed their country through their music. I don't know if you have seen what we call Afrobeat now. Yeah. Afrobeat is on top. Mm -hmm. Afrobeat is better than R&B now. Mm -hmm. Afrobeat is better than rap. Mm -hmm. They are making a lot of money Nigerians right now. Mm -hmm. Congolese. Have you seen Congolese with Rumba? Mm -hmm. Rumba is now a worldwide music. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Kofi Olomide. Everybody knows Rema. Mm -hmm. And when you know a person from a country, you want to go in that country. You want to discover that country. Mm -hmm. See yeah, sure. how it's related to economy? Mm -hmm, sure. Rema has now money and he makes people come to Niger to mm -hmm. discover Afrobeat. Even American come in their studios, please. Mm. They, they export now music. Hollywood, let's talk about Hollywood now. Mm. Everybody knows the supremacy of Americans through Hollywood. Mm. That's their culture, making films, creating mm. films. Samandari can, Samandari can, can be a, a vitrine what we call a, uh, a, a vitrine en français for Burundians. Yeah, yeah. You can discover Burundi through Samandari because Samandari is he's a legend, a legend yeah, here in Burundi. Yeah. 
all the people who have studied Kirundi knows Samandari. Mm -hmm. You can export the Samandari concepts. Mm -hmm. See how it's, how it's related to our economy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Then you, you can bring people here in Burundi through Samandari, through Afrobeat, through the drums, through all that. Well, yeah. uh, just to, 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 com to complete her, yeah, sure. uh, this, uh, this culture and art actually contribute to the development of uh, a different countries and it has been something quite great with the different countries. Uh, well, I will not even go uh, abroad, maybe in Europe or in, uh, in the US. No, let's, let's just talk about Africa. Go to Nigeria, go to um, to Burkina Faso, go to even here around uh, to the neighboring country, Kenya, for example. Well, it's something quite, that is quite making a uh, difference in uh, which is de generating much in uh, uh, their countries. For example, in, in uh, Nigeria, uh, let's talk about uh, Nollywood. This is a film industry. Uh, I can say that this is uh, the second largest film industry in the world. After and Hollywood? Yes, after Hollywood for sure. And it's, for example, it's employing uh, more than uh, 300,000 people. Oh. And you hear that this is something quite amazing. Um, we can also go to the uh, to Burkina Faso with the Fispaco. This is a, mm. uh, a film festival in uh, Ouagadougou. Yeah, sure. This is also something big. Mm. Um, and the festival is happening uh, every year. And it brings, it, uh, it, it has come to bring uh, more than 100,000 uh, 100, people from across the, the world. And this is uh, the first, I mean, the biggest African film festival. And with these uh, people coming from around the world, Burkina Faso benefits, ma benefits much because arri arriving the country, they have to consume. They, I mean, to, before arriving there, they have to, to use the money of the country. To mean that they have to convert their currencies to Sefa, to the Sefa that, that is being used in there. And you understand that the currency also uh, is something that the country benefits from this uh, festival, cartoon arts. Sure. It's always the same with uh, uh, Le Recreatral. This is a, a, a theater festival in there, which, is also, which also brings uh, many people from different parts of the world to the festival. Yes. And being the hotels, being the bars, being uh, other issues around there to be consumed, people have to buy and the country generate revenues. To me that if the country is generating, it is everyone in the country who is benefiting from this for sure. Yeah, and I can say even here in Burundi, culture and arts has been contributing enormously uh, in the development of the country because uh, let's have a look at, uh, well, the, the song, Burundi Watch, for example, mm. this is something great for, for a nation to have. Uh, look at uh, Sagamba Burundi, for example. Look at um, the radio drama that came after the sociopolitical wars, sociopolitical crisis. Uh, uh, this radio drama is uh, mm. with Marie Louise Yeah. This has been something that came to, you know, to work on the psychology of people so as to, you know, to give them the way uh, from, to, to go from the wars to development. You know, here in Burundi, I can say that um, mainly culture and art sector has been con contributing to build the conscious or to help psychologically. And social um, cohesion. Yes so as people can see the way to development because we are not yet established in this domain mm -hmm. like other countries uh, here and there for sure well uh, yeah. i always like the way you you end up your statement mm -hmm. because now yours is saying yeah. we are not well established as other countries and i agreed uh, with both mm -hmm. of you guys or mm -hmm. you know i mean 
the examples that you have given, you yeah. have been like uh, telling me about uh, Nigeria and some yeah. other countries like uh, Burkina Faso, uh, whereby you find those um, uh, fields uh, mm -hmm. somehow bigger yeah. than yeah. what we have here in Burundi. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, like, because you have said like uh, uh, um, mm -hmm. that in Nigeria the mm -hmm. film industry, yeah. I mean Hollywood mm -hmm. has given more than. 300,000 jobs, yeah, yeah, yeah. what means people are living out of that. Yeah. And uh, I wonder what is hindering our country mm -hmm. uh, you know, from you know, uh, having those kind of things. I mean, because like, I mean, he, even, even in, in, I hear so many complaints yeah. you're from <laughs> artists saying, you know, you, know, we are, yeah, yeah. you know, we are struggling, we cannot even like, I don't, sometimes mm -hmm. they say, you, you know, I better leave that, I better, you know, give up, mm -hmm. and, you know surrender everything uh, rather than keeping the career that one day it will. But there are people who are passionate mm -hmm. about it, but for you in the industry, mm -hmm. uh, or Kelly also can have a say uh, over that, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is hindering the country, is hindering mm -hmm. Burundian artists mm -hmm. to progress uh, for their better lives and also for the beautiful economy of the country? Mm -hmm. Well, I can say that there are uh, a number of issues that are hindering the Burundian culture and arts to, uh, to develop at a certain level. However, we are developing, we are making it uh, because uh, I can say that from our beginnings, we have, been, we have made a certain step and even now we are just moving uh, towards somewhere. Yeah, but if I can talk about the, the problems or the challenges, uh, that are hindering the Burundian culture and art sector. I can say that, uh, you know, there are mainly three uh, elements that helps the culture and art sector to, you know, to move from a certain level to another level so as to be productive. This includes the, the skills, you know, the artists must have the skills and they must also have the infrastructures. They must also have the money. To mean that if you can go to study here and there about uh, culture and arts issues, you also have to, to have the, you know, the infrastructures. Look, for example, at Palais des Arts, the building here. You know, this is one of the infrastructures that we, we would be in need of as artists. And other, um, and other centers that can serve, that can help us to, you know, to work properly as artists. Um, and after getting these uh, infrastructures, we also need uh, the money, you know, the, being the country, if the country can invest, or maybe non-profit organizations, we must have uh, the money so that we, you know, we build on this. But to be specific, uh, the, con the country, Burundian country, has been uh, uh, has gone has gone through a difficult social political yeah, crisis, crisis. Mm. and I think this is one of the great challenges that we have had. Because, for example, look at uh, uh, well, let me say Hollywood, um, yeah, Bollywood that started in. Uh, uh, in 1932, if I'm not mistaken, and um, Nollywood that started in the 1960s, and here we are just starting around the 1990s, and you understand that there is a big difference in years, and also there must be differences in uh, skills and materials and finances. So, uh, Burundi can say that uh, with this social political crisis, people have not got this op these opportunities to go to learn culture and arts issues because the skills uh, I can say are a backbone of uh, the development, quality education. So many, no, let me say some, some Burundians. Uh, uh, some Burundian artists are short of skills, being in music, being in film, being in theater, mm. uh, in uh, visual arts, in painting, everywhere. Well, they are short of skills. So 
if you're short of skills, you get difficulties in fundraising, you get difficulties in uh, building appropriate infrastructures and everything get complicated. And um, I can also not forget to talk about the government, the contribution of the government in the development of the sector. Um, well, because the country, there must be in a, well, let me say, there must be um, politics, appropriate politics and policies regards um, concerning culture and arts sector. So here in Burundi, we are still so far from it. And if we cannot have the, well, let me say, the intellectual property, the culture and arts policies that are there to be uh, making favorable conditions uh, for artists, you understand that it, it gets complicated. Well, in, um, well, in short, the challenges are mainly based on the uh, the, the skills, the show, the, the you know, the minimum of skills we have artists have in the sector, and the lack of infrastructures, appropriate infrastructures, yeah. lack of finances, and also uh, the weak contribution of the government in the sector. Well, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. the answer. It was quite complete. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, you know, I want to ask a bit, you know, yeah. my friend here and uh, asking also myself, mm -hmm. as people are not in the domain, he has uh, tackled the main, the main obstacles uh, that they are facing. And uh, mm -hmm. the first setback that I can call is about skills yeah. and uh, also like uh, the intellectual property, yeah. infrastructures, inte yeah. intellectual, intellectual property, I mean copyright. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. People are working and they don't see the outcome of their jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to know, like uh, people are maybe in the other domains. Yeah. Can we help the, the sector to grow? What is uh, our contribution so as people on the field uh, uh, stop complaining? Because mm -hmm. there are some are saying, no, we don't know what to do now. Mm. Mm -hmm. The first thing to do is to love our culture. Really, Burundian, mm. I don't know if we love our culture. <laughs> Have you noticed that if when you go in a house okay. and you look at the decoration, yeah. there are no main, the, uh, craft, main craft Burundians. Mm. Have you noticed that? I don't know. Mm. We, we, we usually go to buy mm. decoration from mm. China. Yeah. Eh? The first thing is to love our things, our culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, 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 when we want to help, if we want to help mm -hmm. artists, we have to love them. We have to love our culture. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. And the, the second thing to do is to help them. We have to help them mm -hmm. to... I'm talking about people who have money right yeah. now. <laughs> no, even you don't have. <laughs> no, you know, I don't. Money. <laughs> yeah, come on. He or she can contribute <laughs> one way on, way on. Uh, or another. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's listen to her opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm talking yeah. about the, those who have a, a big amount of money. Yeah. Maybe I have money, but I don't have a big amount of money. They should okay. help. Mm. I think that's what helped Hollywood to be developed is mm. that those who have money in the United States, they they give money, mm. what we call the producers. Yeah. Mm? They mm. give a lot, an amount, a big amount of money. Mm. In Nollywood, likewise, mm -hmm. mm? people who have money, they should help our artists. Mm -hmm. mm? And the third thing to do is to promote, mm -hmm. to promote our culture. We have to be proud of it mm -hmm. to, and to promote it. Look, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. let me talk about, this is an artist, he's yeah. wearing, he's, have you noticed mm. he's wearing something which is made in africa mm. look I, I i'm wearing a skirt and the shirt from china from turkey i don't know mm, yeah we have to be proud we have to wear for fashion we have to wear african or burundian fashion for decoration we have to put in our houses mm -hmm. which is made in burundi and things like that yeah, well, you know, uh, there is a, a problem with the, what we call uh, intercultural communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is something great. I mean, this is something big and that um, make, makes people to, you know, to get in difficulties 
because there are countries that are called uh, uh, countries at with cultures at high level of abstractions you know the the countries with culture that attract many people from the world this include the united states look at the germany i mean european and american countries yeah and with these countries have these great cultures people from other parts of the world get confused to follow their own cultures because they are influenced by other cultures and they fail to resist you know with this problem people uh, just tend to forget their cultures their identities and just and you will see many of the many of Colombians for example especially the youth um, are moving from the country to other countries to uh, you know I don't know how but this is especially due to the lack of uh, I mean due to this um, attraction of other countries that are influencing them to move from you know with this communication that countries have developed they impose people here and they consider that Burundi for example has nothing because of what because this influence so I think it's important that people learn that people study and get skills and uh, and arrive at a certain point to know and understand um, what is uh, culture and arts what is uh, you know with the skills they have to they have to understand they have to know how to differentiate things I'm this not that and I have to do this not that well I, I wish we had uh, huh? more time to <laughs> you know talk about this uh, interesting topic because mm -hmm. it's actually very deep uh, mm -hmm. so as people you know uh, grow in terms of finances because uh, culture as we said uh, with uh, different domains like music like uh, films like uh, yeah. painting yeah. like handicraft arts mm -hmm. all kinds of uh, you know cultural sectors uh, they are so important because these are actually um, the symbols the symbols of the belonging of a, a given country these are the ways of living as you have you know given some example like uh, what you said like uh, people liking you know their own identities mm -hmm. because as americans do you know what we have american dream everybody mm -hmm. dreams of going there because yeah, the influence yeah, yeah. of course there are some other factors that's why i say i wish you could get more time so as we dig deeper but anyway uh, i guess people have to understand that you know those different domains of the culture these are the symbols that represent or express you know the belonging in a given family on a given country and these are you know the the power these are the strength that you know can help people to take the ownership of their own development so i want to thank you uh for your presence today you shared a lot thank you brother and young uh, jean d'arc yeah, you're welcome, you're much welcome, and thanks to you journalists and to the BNP TV that helped, that gave me uh, this opportunity to, well, to talk about this. Well, it's quite something quite great for sure, because um, I think medias are also a backbone to contribute in the development of culture and arts, because what you write, people read, and what they, and what they read, um, is going to build or destroy so you have to be careful with what you are just giving people yeah, sure. thank you thank you for the input <laughs> okay uh, also, I also want to thank my co-host Kelly Keranda it was a pleasure to be with you again just share it Patrick thank you okay okay we have also to thank our viewers you have at least got something from this show and uh, I want to ask you to stay connected with us see you next time